You know, growing up, I was always someone who would match energy. I would seek revenge, to be honest. But it's like, no, I just respond with love, man. Because that's all I have now, bro. I, I got into a point where it's not even worth matching energy. It's not even worth going down to that negative energy to make someone else feel bad, too. You know? If someone makes me feel bad, I'm going to simply just depart from the situation and keep my peace. Now, don't get me wrong. It took a lot to get to that point. A lot of trial and error. I'm not going to lie to you, but it paid off, though. I learned from it. You get to a point when all you want is peace. And it's like, if you're not serving my peace, I'm going to either respond with love or just depart from the situation. For sure. If I was to never be able to speak again after saying this, I'll say this. Never in your life try to prove people wrong. Prove yourself right. I say this because when you try to prove people wrong, you're not doing what you love with good intentions. You're doing it for all the wrong reasons. Looking for validation. Where's the self-love at? You know what I'm saying? You gotta realize, bro, people are gonna believe in you and some people won't, and that's okay. That's the part of life. All I'm saying is, man, make sure that you're proving yourself right. Believe in yourself. The moment you try to prove somebody wrong, the intentions isn't genuine. Because yes, boom, say you do prove them wrong. Then what? What else is driving you to keep on going? You already did your accomplishment, right? Make sure your intentions are pure with love. And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you, bro. Right now, bro, I got people that doubt me. I do. I do. But I feel no way towards it, though, because I have love. And I'm proving myself right. Because me, I firmly believe that this is my purpose. I do. And I'm going to keep on doing this. And if you want to do something in life, prove yourself right. I'm talking to you. You can do anything you put your mind to. As long as you have faith and you have God and you believe in yourself, Your goals is endless. When I was younger, I used to always be like, why am I in a situation? Why is my family poor? Why can't we afford this? Why can't we do that? I was never able to do stuff that typical families would do due to our living situation. And I would complain about that as a kid. I would, I ain't gonna lie. As I got older, I realized that it was a blessing in disguise it helped me realize the value of everything. Just having something to eat is a blessing. But we overlook that because we expect more, 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 more. But look what's in front of you. I used to complain back then, but I'm grateful now because it developed my character to be humble, to be appreciative for anything. And you know what's funny? Like during Christmas, RP my grandma and my grandpa. But my great-grandparents will always give me underwear and socks for Christmas. And I'm like, as a kid, I'm like, I don't want this. I want some toys. <laughs> I want this. I want the game. But as I got older, I realized that that was a blessing. I think that's beautiful, though. As you get older, your perspective changes. Because although I was very poor, I experienced so much love within that household. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna end this video off right here, you feel me? Um, I just wanna say I appreciate all you guys who watch this video from beginning to end, you feel me? Uh, yet again, for my new people, if you are new, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell while you edit too. I highly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You feel me? I spent way more videos, of course. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys wanna contact me, my Instagram is right here. So don't be afraid to reach out because I will respond to everybody as long as we're the same type of timing. And I love all y'all. Peace.